What's up everybody, it's Riley and I am back finally doing the latter part of my library tour. I did the first half and showed off all of my manga a couple weeks ago. Um, and it's taken me a little while, I had to adjust some things in here, clean up, and had to fix the lighting situation. I actually, last week I had filmed this and I was getting ready to post it, but then I took a look and the lighting was just awful. Pretty much the bottom row of every single shelf was completely invisible because it was so dark. So I went ahead and rigged something in here and I am ready to finally give you guys the second half of my library tour. Thank you so much for your patience. I know that a lot of people have been waiting and asking about this. Um, I appreciate the interest in it. So let's go ahead and get it going. All right. So we're going to start over here. This is the DC corner. I'll give a big look. It's kind of behind this middle Kallax shelf right here. Um, so there is a little bit of a, a squeeze and it'll be a little bit more difficult to show exactly what's there. Uh, I haven't, speaking of the Kallax, I haven't put everything up yet, but most of this here is just my X-Men figures. Um, first I have, this little cubby is basically my DC stuff that's not on my shelf because it's going to be sold in favor of some sort of upgraded hardcover or whatever the case may be. So... If, when I'm looking at everything else over there, you're like, oh, why doesn't he have Batman Incorporated and Batwoman and the other Batman by Scott Snyder and stuff like that? That's that's why. So anyway, starting from the top here, uh, let's see, Batman Damned and the Bat Manga, and then it goes alphabetical with my paperbacks. Um, so I got like Aquaman, Batgirl, Batwing, Catwoman, Flash by Wade, Flash by Morrison, Frankenstein, uh, the entire Green Arrow by Grell. A couple of Green Lantern books, Green Lantern Core, Green Lantern by Morrison, some Hawkman stuff, Heroes in Crisis, I Vampire, a little bit of Nightwing. I've got the whole question by uh, Denny O'Neill, all of the Secret Six, Starman, Omnis by Robinson, Suicide Squad, we're still waiting on that last volume to be published there, uh, and then all my Superman stuff. And Swamp Thing, then goes down to Wonder Woman, going down to the next row, Wonder Woman, and then my Earth One stuff. And then from here, the rest of my DC stuff, uh, it starts all of my Batman stuff. So first I have Batman that's like out of continuity. Um, so Batman 66, Black and White, uh, by Loeb and Sale, the Frank Miller works. Uh, let's see what's in here. There's a Batman Punisher book, Arkham Asylum, Living Hell. And then it gets into the stuff that's, um, some of this stuff is out of continuity. Like obviously the Batman 1989 adaptation is not in continuity, but I think Birth of the Demon and stuff is. So just a, uh, a few of the deluxe editions right here going into year one and year two, which goes into all the paperbacks that they've released of the pre-Nightfall era of books they're still working on these two the cape crusader and dark knight detective lines which i'm hoping will go all the way up to the nightfall omnibus um in some format i'm hoping they do that so that we have all post-crisis batman uh, we have the nightfall trio of omnis that's followed on the other side by uh there's some zero hour material contagion legacy the doug munch uh kelly jones stuff and then the all of the No Man's Land related books. That leads into New Gotham. There are a few issues here and there that are missing, but I have most of what's out. Um, New Gotham, Officer Down, BKV, Brubaker, Murder, Fugitive, Man Who Laughs. Uh, this is Azarello's material, which the main book in there is The Broken City. Plus it also has Flashpoint. Um, let's see, As the Crow Flies... War Games, Under the Red Hood, City of Crime, some more oversized hardcovers, the Morrison stuff. Uh, let's see. After that is the Tony Daniel stuff, the Detective Comics New 52 run, the uh, David Finch stuff, and the Dark Knight New 52 run. And then there's uh, Black Mirror and Gates of Gotham, Batman and Robin New 52. Going down this way, the last chunk of my Batman stuff. Batman by Snyder. I already mentioned the other Snyder stuff was over in the shelf over here. And then I have the All-Star Batman by Snyder, Batman Who Laughs, Batman Eternal, Batman by uh, Manipool, 
and then the Rebirth hardcovers for both Batman and Detective Comics. And this goes into the rest of my oversized hardcovers and Omnis in alphabetical order at this point. So Animal Man by Lemire, Aquaman, Crisis, Rebirth, New Frontier, Dial H, Doom Patrol, uh, Bronze Age, Doom Patrol by Byrne, Final Crisis, Flash. I've got the new printing of that first one. And I'm hoping that what they do, because this double dips in here with the second one, I'm hoping that they release basically the rest of Volume 2 and Volume 3 as a second new printing. And then they do a third volume that has all of the stuff that led into like Flashpoint and, and the uh, New 52. And I have the uh, Mana Pull Flash Omni, Fourth World Omnibus, uh, Gotham Central, Grayson, Green Arrow by Jeff Lemire, Deluxe Edition, the Jeff Johns Trio of Omnis, for Green Lantern, Hawkman, and Injustice Volume 1. We got Volume 2 solicited <clears throat> recently. Down here, Justice League International Volume 1. Volume 2 is also solicited for that. JLA by Morrison also has an Omni solicited. We have JSA 1 through 3 by uh, <clears throat> Jeff Johns. Dark Side War, Omnibus, Justice, Kingdom Come, Multiversity, Orion, Seven Soldiers, Solo, Super Sun, Superman Unchained, Swamp Thing, more Swamp Thing, uh, New Teen Titans 1 through 4, I know Volume 5 is also solicited, Teen Titans by Johns, Wonder Woman 1 through 3 by Perez, Wonder Woman by uh, Azarello and Chang, and then Zero Hour Crisis in Time is the last DC Omni I have, and then it goes into some Omnis and oversized hardcovers that are like non uh, DC Universe, but they're still DC properties. So He Man, Master of the Universe, The Authority, Global Frequency, Planetary, and then going down this way, I've got my Watchmen books before Watchmen, Watchmen, and the Watchmen Companion. And then that leads into my Vertigo. Well, actually, there's a few books that are paperbacks that are non DC Universe. Ronin, Space Ghost, and Zombie, and then it goes into my paperbacks for Vertigo. Animal Man, I've got all the paperbacks of that. Uh, Exterminators, Enigma, The Filth, It's a Bird. Uh, all of the Hellblazer paperbacks that are out as of this point. The Losers, Nobody, Northlanders, 1, 2, and 3. The Other Side, Punk Rock Jesus, all the Swamp Thing paperbacks. That's the three of Rick Veitch's run. They never completed collecting that. Uh, and then the three, Mark Miller, the two, Brian K. Vaughn, the Andy Diggle and Josh Dessart stuff, which they also didn't finish collecting. Um, Unknown Soldier, uh, Johnny Double, We Three, and then my hardcovers from Vertigo, Dark Knight, Django, Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, one through six, Sebastian O. Mystery Play by Grant Morrison, and then all my oversized hardcovers and Omnis, 100 Bullets, which has also been, uh, solicited as a omnibus. I think uh, probably going to be two volumes. Uh, American Vampire, Animal Man, Books of Magic, uh, Day Tripper, DMZ. The last volume of DMZ, Doom Patrol by Morrison, Ex Machina, all 15 volumes of Fables, Flex Mentallo, House of Secrets, Invisibles, iZombie, Joe the Barbarian, Kid Eternity, uh, Kill Your Boyfriend, and V Monorama. Got uh, League, of Extra League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Omnibus, which has the uh, first two and the Black Dossier, and then volumes three and four. Lucifer, volume one, Ocean Orbiter, Promethea, volumes one and two of three. The three Sandman Omnis, Scalped, one through five, Sheriff of Babylon, Sleeper, Sweet Tooth, Trillium, that one unwritten volume that got released and then the rest got canceled, V for Vendetta, and Why the Last Man. So that's all of my DC and Vertigo stuff. Let's jump up here. Uh, there's a few more. I've got some uh, Absolute Editions. This is kind of the shelf of stuff that's too big to fit elsewhere, basically. So I have my Preacher, uh, Preacher Swamp Thing, and Absolute Transmetropolitans up on the top there. Um, other stuff up here. I've got the Inkle and Meta Barons. Letter 44, Volume 1, Crimson, Gail Simone's Red Sonia, Peter Cannon, Thunderbolt. Maximum minimum wage, and then a bunch of those Marvel, uh, the the big old volumes that they've been releasing, uh, Silver Surfer, Parable in Black, X Men by Roy Thomas, History of the Marvel Universe, and then before Hellboy, that's the big Godzilla Criterion uh, case that all the Blu-rays came in that came out sometime uh, in the latter part of last year. And I've got my seven library editions of Hellboy up here. 
The rest of my Hellboy stuff, I'm just going to skip down here so I can show real quick, is down here. Abe Sapien, uh, Baltimore BPRD, uh, all the BPRD stuff, Hellboy, uh, Weird Tales, and Witchfinder. I'll go back up and come back to that in a second, but the rest from the top of this shelf, I've got um, Bouncer and Matrix, uh, and then all the TKO stuff that I have, the second season, basically the second season worth of stuff. Uh, all my Valiant oversized hardcovers. I'm only missing, I think, four of the Valiant hardcovers. And then my image stuff, I've got Chu, East of West, Fatal, I Hate Fairyland, Killer Be Killed, Little Bird, Last Christmas, Luther Strode, Manhattan Projects, Monstrous, uh, Nailbiter, Paper Girls, Phonogram, Saga, Scene of the Crime, Big Hard Sex Criminals, uh, there's all of Wicked and Divine, and then I get into some image paperbacks. King City, Severed, Southern Bastards, or actually hardcovers. And then paperbacks, Battle Chasers, Buzzkill, Ghost Fleet, God Country, I Kill Giants, Midnight Nation, Murder Falcon, Rock Candy Mountain, Wanted. And then from other publishers, Assassin's Creed, The Savage Shores, My Dynamite Stuff. I've got The Boys, Centipede, Grand Design, Mars Attacked, some of the uh, Project Superpowers material more Project Superpowers material down here. Uh, let's see. Kaiju Max, Godzilla, uh, it's Oni, and then I've got the one IDW book, the uh, Godzilla Half-Sensory War. Uh, Boom Studios, I have Steed and Mrs. Peel from uh, Grant Morrison. Frog Catcher, actually that's not from Boom, but then, uh, so Frog Catcher and then going back to Boom, the three Amory Wars hardcovers, uh, Klaus, the two hardcovers by uh, Grant Morrison. I've got the three uh, Power Rangers hardcovers. Uh, Baby Teeth from Aftershock from Titan Comics. I've got the four Snowpiercer hardcovers. Uh, IDW, Lock and Key, The One by Rick Veitch, and the ten volumes of TMNT that are out so far. And I go to some Dark Horse stuff. Martha Washington, The Mask, Milk and Cheese, Berserker Unbound, I'm going to move the light over this way. Just get a little bit better lighting. There we go. Berserker Unbound, uh, Department H 1 through 4, Mind Management 1 through 6, Perry Bible Fellowship, Sullivan Sluggers. This shelf is kind of the... Uh, because of the library editions being down here, I had to move things up, and this is the short books shelf, and then some other stuff that I just didn't have a better place for got uh, the six so far hardcovers of Homestuck and the uh, epilogues. Black Hole, Blankets, Goodbye Chunky Rice, Bone, Essex County, Lost Dogs, Sex Castle, Kill Them All, the six Scott Pilgrim hardcovers, Seconds, and All of Concrete. And then these uh, increasingly sized books. I've got a collection of Bazooka Joe comics, Strange Planet, Blue, Boys Club, and Nancy. And then I've got a bunch of different paperbacks and hardcovers here. Uh, we Can Never Go Home, The Crow, Ghost World, Johnny the uh, Homicidal Maniac, and Squee, uh, Brat Pack, The Head, Roughneck, Underwater Welder, My Favorite Things, Monsters, Asterius Polyp, and the four volumes of Zenith by Grant Morrison. Then down here, before the uh, Hellboy Universe stuff, I've got Beasts of Burden, two hardcovers, and Eltingville Club. Too Much Coffee Man, Omnibus. And then over here, I've got the, the Alien stuff. Alien 3, the uh, adaptation of the original script. Uh, Dead Orbit, Fire and Stone, Life and Death, and Alien's Defiance. And then my Dark Horse Library editions continue with uh, Black Hammer, Buffy, Seasons 8, 9, and 10. And then the new volume from Boom of Volume 11. And then Angel and Faith, Volume 9. I've got The Goon, Harrow County, uh, Umbrella Academy 1 and 2, Big Guy and Rusty, Hard Boiled, Big Damn Sin City, and then a bunch of books uh, from both Image and Dark Horse. This is basically Rick Remender stuff. Uh, Crawl Space, Deadly Class, Fear Agent, Gigantic, Low, Tokyo Ghost, and then some other stuff. Uh, I forgot to mention Black Science. Uh, I've got The Goddamned by Jason Aaron, The Invader Zim hardcovers, 1 through 3, the Fifth Beetle, and Lost Girls. So that's all of my stuff that's not Marvel, not DC, my other publisher stuff. So now we've gone through 
those four Billy's worth of books. I also have some uh, action figures of Power Rangers and stuff over here uh, that were originally put in front of there, like basically just along this shelf. But I want to clear that out to, to kind of give a better, better view of what's there. So let's do now my, my Marvel shelf. Uh, this is everything except for my X-Men stuff. So we'll look real quick. I have to put this on, or I'm holding this high because I'm, I'm pretty short. Um, so it might shake a little bit more. Uh, but this is all the Marvel stuff that's non Marvel universe. Uh, so from the top I've got, oh, and this is the same as that DC thing. This is Marvel stuff that's getting ready. Like I, I, I'm fixing to sell this stuff. Uh, these cause there's Omni's coming and this one, cause I just decided I don't want to commit to so many volumes of Conan, at least not at the moment. Um, but anyway, moving back up here, um, just wanted to mention that before I forgot. So Incognito, The Twelve, The Stand, Dark Tower, Muppets, uh, Bendis, Crime Noir, Powers, and then all my Star Wars stuff. I've got the three classic Star Wars Omnis. I don't have Ewoks and I don't have the UK stuff. I've got Age of Republic, which is the newest hardcover. Uh, Kanan, Darth Vader by Soul, Volume 1. Volume 2 is due out, uh, uh, is solicited. I don't know exactly the date. The Omnibus with Jason Aaron's run. The Darth Vader by Gillen Omnibus. Uh, Heroes for New Hope, Han Solo, Dr. Aphra, Shattered Empire, Captain Phasma, and then the paperback, Darth Maul, Son of Dathomir. And then I get into, after the um, Amazing, Fantastic, Incredible hardcover, this is alphabetical of a lot of the Marvel stuff uh, until we reach the end, and then it goes to the Ultimate Universe. Um, basically, these are things that I don't have Omnibus for. Uh, everything else you'll see is kind of mixed and matched in with the, uh, you'll see. I don't have to sit here and explain it. Uh, so Agents of Atlas, Ant-Man, I've got a good amount of Black Widow material, Blade, Cage, Captain Marvel, uh, Contest of Champions, some Defenders books, Dr. Voodoo, Dominic Fortune, Dracula, Fear Itself, The Fearless, Full Killer, Immortal Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, The Loners, Marvel Boy, Mystery Men, uh, Rocket, Nick Fury versus Shield, uh, Squirrel Girl, Submariner, Taskmaster, and then this uh, pretty good amount of that is all Thunderbolts. I have almost every Thunderbolts collection. I'm missing a few. Some of them are easier to are, are cheap. They're not you know expensive ones, uh, but there are a couple of them that are a little harder to find. Um, so Thunderbolts all the way through the Marvel Now run, Warlock, Secret War, Civil War, uh, Strange Tales volumes one and two, the Marvels Companion. And then starting in the Ultimate Universe, the Ultimates, Ultimate Comics Avengers. Then getting down this way, I've got Ultimate Comics Ultimates by Hickman. And then Ultimate Comics Cap, Fantastic Four Volume 1. I've got all of the Ultimate Spider-Man material all the way through the new Spider-Man Miles Morales, where Miles goes into the 616. Uh, Thanos Wars, this is all my cosmic stuff. So it's Thanos Wars, Infinity Origins, uh, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, Infinity... Uh, Crusade would go after that once that is released. Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity War Aftermath, Infinity Watch, Infinity Abyss, The End, Thanos Redemption, and then the Annihilation books, the War of Kings trio, uh, Thanos by Jeff Lemire, Thanos by Donny Cates, Infinity Wars, Alias, Avengers West Coast, Avengers by Byrne, Avengers, uh, and you can see this is where I have my paperbacks mixed in. Avengers by Kurt Busiek, uh, Avengers by Jeff Johns, New Avengers by Bendis, uh, Secret Invasion. I don't have, I used to have all of the hardcovers of New Avengers, and then I sold those, and I'm still hoping that they'll do, like, um, you know, Road to Secret Invasion or something like that, and basically release the rest of Bendis's uh, Avengers from the start all the way through AVX in Omniform. Uh, Dark Avengers, Secret Avengers, Avengers Initiative, going back down this way, um, Avengers Academy, Avengers Arena, Avengers Undercover, uh, Rage of Ultron, and then I've got a bunch of the Hickman stuff, so S.H.I.E.L.D., Avengers by Hickman, Secret Wars. Uh, most of this block of paperbacks is Al Ewing's stuff, Mighty Avengers, New Avengers, U.S. Avengers, and Ultimates. I also have Uncanny Avengers by uh, Jerry Dugan in here. Uh, some Avengers by Wade, Young Avengers, and then I go into Black Panther. I've got all the thick Black Panther paperbacks and the two hardcovers uh, of Ta-Nehisi Coates run so far. All the epics of Mark Grunwald's cap so far, 
Cap by Mark Wade, Cap by Dan Jurgens, The Five, Cap by Brubaker, uh, Captain America, Sam Wilson, Complete Collection. I don't have the Remender run. I, I want to get all the hardcovers unless they... I, I'd rather them release a thick paperback at the very least. Um, Carnage, Daredevil, both of the Miller. I've got the two so far releases of Anna Senti's run in Epic. The Marvel Knights by Joe Quesada, which precedes the Bendis run. So I've got Bendis, Brubaker, and The Shadowland, which leads right into Mark Wade's. And then I have End of Days uh, by Bendis right after that. Moving down to the next row, Doctor Strange by Aaron and Doctor Strange uh, by Donny Cates. The Earth X trilogy omnis, Fantastic Four 1 through 3 by Lee and Kirby. Fantastic Four by John Byrne 1 and 2. Fantastic Four 1, 2, 3, 4. Fantastic Four by Wade and Wairingo. Fantastic Four 1 and 2 by Hickman. Fantastic Four by Matt Fraction. Uh, I've got some Ghost Rider, the Daniel Way, Jason Aaron, and Rob Williams runs. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Solo Classic, Jim Valentino. Brian Michael Bendis, Volume 1, um, Jerry Dugan, Hawkeye by Fraction and Lemire, Howard the Duck, uh, Omni plus one paperback. I've got the first four Hulk. Uh, I have a lot of Hulk stuff, actually. I uh, I have most of what's collected. I, I really just don't have the masterworks. That's the main thing that I'm missing from Hulk. But I have the uh, four first epic collections. The fifth one's been solicited. Heart of the Atom, I've got the three uh, trades from Bill Mantlo's run that exist. The whole Mantlo run has not been uh, collected. These three are just the latter part of his run. John Byrne, the first Omni of Peter David. I did have all eight of the Visionaries, but I sold all eight of those and then bought this, and the second one is uh, solicited already, and that goes beyond all eight of those trades and into this first epic collection. This almost wraps up Peter David's run. There's like one more epic collection worth of material from him after that. I've got the Hulk and Pitt one shot that Peter David did. Uh, Peter David's The End. And then it goes into the new series when it starts with a new number one. So I've got the John Byrne book, uh, Dogs of War hardcover. Uh, this is all from Return of the Monster through... Hulk Legends Volume 1, those are all the Bruce Jones material. Um, Tempest Fugit is where uh, we see uh, Peter David return, and then he also does the House of M uh, tie-in. And then Greg Pak comes in with Planet Hulk. Uh, so there's the omnibus for Planet Hulk and World War Hulk. The omnibus of Jeff Loeb's run after uh, Pak leaves for a little bit. Uh, there's Giant Size Hulk that has a few one-shots that are not collected elsewhere. Greg Pak returns, and he does the material in these two oversized hardcovers, uh, Follow the Hulks and World War Hulks. And then I've got the rest of Pak's run and most of the Chaos War material. Um, and then Pak ends with Heart of the Monster. Uh, then Jason Aaron, and then there's Mark Wade and Jerry Dugan. And then I've got the Savage Hulk series that didn't last too long. Um, the two Secret Wars miniseries. And then Pak returns to do totally awesome Hulk. So I've got that whole six volume thing where uh, Amadeus Cho is Hulk and the first hardcover of Immortal Hulk and then the Marvel Knights Hulk transformed by Joe Keating. Uh, and then I've got kind of the Hulk spinoff stuff, Incredible Hercules, Herc, all the Red Hulk, which I absolutely love by uh, Jeff Parker. Uh, She-Hulk I have on that shelf behind me, the Dan Slott run. And then I've got all the stuff by Peter David that followed it. All new Savage She-Hulk, She-Hulk's Hunt for the Intelligentsia, and She-Hulk by Charles Soule Complete Collection, and then She-Hulk by Mariko Tamaki. And I've got the Scar material, Scar Son of Hulk Complete Collection, uh, Hulk, Son of Hulk, uh, Dark Sun Rising, and Scar, King of the Savage Land. And I've got a few Inhumans books. There's the uh, Jenkins and Lee mini, all the Charles Soule material, Black Bolt by Saladin Ahmed. Uh, Karnak by Ellis is stuck in there. Royals by uh, Al Ewing, and then Death of the Inhumans by Donny Cates. Then I've got a little section of Iron Man stuff. I've got the Michelini and Layton omnibus, a few of the uh, epics that follow it. So this is 13, 14, and 16. I've got the War Machine collection, Kurt Busiek and Sean Chen's omnibus. Uh, that's directly followed by the recent one that came out, the mask, uh, mask in the Iron Man, and then I've got Extremis in the corner next to exec, uh, Execute Program, which is uh, the 
book that directly follows after Extremis. And then uh, Iron Man, Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. is the follow-up of that. And then Invincible Iron Man by Bendis is the last uh, Iron Man I have, or the most recent Iron Man I have so far. Got the Legacy hardcover, Man-Thing, Marvel Zombies, Marvels, that's the most recent release of Marvels. The Marvels Project, Moon Knight uh, by Bendis hardcover. And I've got the three-volume series from uh, Ellis, Wood, and Bunn next to the Lemire stuff, and then the two volumes by Max Bemis. Miss Marvel Omnibus Volume 1, Namor by John Byrne. Original Sin Power Pack uh, Volume 1, Punisher by Potts and Lee. Uh, the three Garth Ennis Punisher books, Punisher Max Volume 6 that follows Ennis, uh, Punisher by Rick Remender, Punisher Max by Jason Aaron, Runaways, Runaways Complete Collection Volume 3, and down here is Volume 4. I got Secret Wars, Secret Wars 2, Secret Warriors, all the Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, and Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, Silver Surfer, Amazing Spider-Man 1 through 4, and I have, as far as Amazing Spider-Man goes, um, I've got every issue collected except for the stuff in Masterworks, just like with Hulk. Uh, I can't say the same for Spectacular or Web Of, because those are not as nearly as well collected. So between, just looking right here, basically it would be volumes five and six would bridge the gap after here all the way up to Stern. And then I've got, I think almost every issue is collected of Spider-Man between Stern and Amazing uh, by uh, Michelini and McFarlane. And then I've got the McFarlane Omni, the Eric Larson Omni, Round Robin, Carnage Classic, Invasion of the Spider Slayers, Spider-Man vs. Venom, the two Clone Saga books, and the first Ben Riley. The second Ben Riley is solicited at this point, and then that will fill in the gap before some of these other volumes. We got the Dezago and Waringo volume, uh, Spider Hunt, Identity Crisis, Gathering of Five, the book by John Byrne, which leaves out a lot of stuff that is in these three paperbacks, next chapter. Uh, Revenge of the Green Goblin, Light in the Darkness, uh, J. Michael Straczynski, Volume 1. Volume 2 is also on the way, but it's delayed due to the current world events and Diamond ceasing uh, distribution at the moment. And then down at the bottom, more Spider-Man. I've got the Peter David collection, the Brand New Day, or Peter David, Mark Miller, Brand New Day 1 through 4, New Ways to Live, uh, and The Gauntlet, and that leads into Big Time 1 through 4, which goes into... Uh, Superior, so I have Superior Foes first, and then Superior Spider-Man, um, Amazing Spider-Man by slot, and then Amazing Spider-Man Worldwide by slot, and Clone Conspiracy. Uh, these two volumes, Worldwide Volume 7 and Venom Inc., were not put into a oversized hardcover, so I have those to bridge the gap before Red Goblin, and then I've got the Spider-Man Deadpool by Joe Kelly hardcover, Spider-Gwen 1 through 3, and then some Spider-Man spinoffs, Green Goblin, Lighter Shade of Green, uh, Morbius, Man Called Morbius, uh, Osborne, Evil Incarcerated, Spider-Man Noir, and Fear Itself Spider-Man. That leads into my Thor stuff, Mighty Thor 1 through 3, uh, which actually don't belong to me anymore. I need to pack those up and ship them out because someone purchased those. Um, Mighty Thor by Simonson, Thor by uh, Jurgens 1 and 2, Thor by Straczynski, and then the next chunk from Ages of Thunder, except for the Gillen book, uh, all the way through Mighty Thor Volume 3. That's all Matt Fraction's run. Trials of Loki, Loki by Kieran Gillen, Omnibus, Loki, Agent of Asgard, and then the next five hardcovers are all uh, Jason Aaron's run. The f last one that collects everything up to War of the Realms has been solicited and should be coming out soon. Uh, Godstorm, Thor, Vikings is kind of in the shadows down there. Um, Thor, Mighty Avenger, Gods and Deviants. And then all my Venom stuff. I got Venomnibus 1 and 2. Volume 3 will be coming out at some point, And that collects the uh, the Daniel Way run as well as some other stuff. Uh, Toxin, Venom Dark Origin, Venom by Rick Remender, Colin Bunn. Uh, Venom Space Knight by Robbie Thompson. Uh, and then the Venom by Mike Costa series where uh, Eddie Brock finally comes back. And then the first hardcover of Donny Cates run. Uh, the Vision by... Tom King and Werewolf by Night Omnibus. So that is my Marvel stuff, except for the last shelf in the corner there. I'm just going to turn my light so that I don't have to worry about it being too dark. It is my X Men stuff. Now, I need to get another uh, 
bookend so I can have those standing upright because you can't really see at the bottom, but I've got, yeah, there it goes. Alpha Flight, Amazing X-Men, Astonishing X-Men, uh, Cable, Cyclops, Dokken, and All New Dupe right there. Uh, basically, I've got all the paperbacks at the top, more or less in alphabetical order, and then kind of in chronological uh, as well. Uh, and that goes into my hardcovers. There's a couple books in here that some people will be like, whoa, what is that? And some people have seen it, and I'll give a little explanation, but I can't really say much. But anyway, going forward, uh, Excalibur, Epic Collections 1 through 4. I know the Omnibus has been solicited, so uh, we don't know exactly what's going to be in there because it's been resolicited a few times with different materials, so I'm hanging on to those until we know. Uh, and then the third Alan Davis Visionaries. I've got the three uh, Visionaries from Warren Ellis, uh, a couple of the volumes of the later series, a bunch of Gambit books, Generation Hope, Havoc and Wolverine, Magneto, Mystique, Mutant X, New Mutants, uh, 1 and 2, and then the material by uh, Louise Simonson that comes before Cable shows up, and then all the New Mutants and New X-Men stuff, all the way up to current, uh, Nyx, Wisdom, and then a bunch of Wolverine. I've got uh, at the top here, I squeezed in uh, Wolverine Volumes 1 and 2 of the Epic Collections, the two Hama Volumes, and then Weapon X Unbound that follows it, and then Inner Fury is the most recent one. There's a little gap between Weapon X and Inner Fury, uh, which I'm sure will be collected at some point soon. Then we've got Dying Game, Not Dead Yet, Blood Wedding, uh, Shadow of Apocalypse, Blood Debt, Return of Weapon X. Um, that Wolverine Legends one, I think, is... God, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, Law of the Jungle, and then the Rucka run, which starts the next volume of Wolverine. The Daniel Way run ends the previous... Rucka should probably be after Wayne, because this uh, should be after Way, because this ends this volume of Wolverine, and then this also collects all of the Wolverine Origin series, uh, which is part of this run, or it spins out of this run that Rucka starts. Got uh, these volumes up to Death of Wolverine and Rot. This basically finishes off the run that Rucka started. Uh, then I've got the miniseries and Wolverine or Wolverine and Jubilee, Logan. The entire Paul Cornell series that leads into the Death of Wolverine. I've got the Wolverine and the X-Men by uh, Jason Latour in between. And then I've got uh, Death of Wolverine and the Companion. And the first volume, or, uh, yeah, of, of Old Man Logan, which I need to collect the rest of that because that's a fantastic series. The two X-23 Complete Collections, uh, three volumes of X-Factor, that's the first volume, and then two volumes of the Peter David material. Uh, and then we get into the X-Force stuff. I've got Counter-X, Uncanny X-Force, uh, Fear Itself, and then all the Marvel Now, the three Marvel Now X-Force series. Then from here, this is the main X-Men and Uncanny X-Men material from Road to Onslaught until Magneto War. That's the main stuff from the 90s that has not been collected in omnibus or oversized hardcover. And then I've got X-Core, that's the series by Joe Casey that takes place at the same time as uh, Morrison was on New X-Men. And then the two thick trades that they've released of uh, Chuck Austin's X-Men so far, there should be one more to wrap up that run. And then I've got the X-Men Legacy books by Christos Gage that followed um, uh, what's his name? Mike Carey's run. And I've got all of the, this is what I like to call X-Men Team Up by Victor Gishler from Curse of the Mutants until the curse is broken. Uh, basically every volume, the X-Men team up with another group of characters. And then, uh, the two, the last two black ones, Blank Generation and Reckless Abandonment are the beginning of Brian Wood's run. And then he does the first three volumes of the Marvel Now X-Men, adjectiveless X-Men, and then uh, Mark Guggenheim and, uh, what's her name, Jill, G. Willow Wilson did uh, the last paperback of that run. And then down here on the top, I've got the four volumes of Bun's Uncanny X-Men and All New X-Men Inevitable. Then I've got some of the blue and gold. I've got Red, Resurrection of Phoenix, and the first book of the uh, Rosenberg Uncanny X-Men stuff, all of the Extreme X-Men, all the way up to the most recent series that crossed over with the Age of Apocalypse series right here. And then a bunch of X-Men uh, 
miniseries and stuff like that. Um, and then into the hardcovers and omnis and stuff. So it starts with, this is all in alphabetical order. Uh, so Alpha Flight, Cable, Soldier X, all of Deadpool, Joe Kelly, classic Deadpool and Cable, Deadpool by Dan Way 1 and 2, Deadpool and Company, uh, Deadpool by Posehn and Dugan, and then all the oversized hardcovers that followed this. So World's Greatest, Volumes 1 through 5, and Despicable Deadpool, the four mini busts that exist so far. And then I get into the Wolverine stuff. So it starts with Weapon X, Wolverine Origin, Wolverine by Mark Miller, Wolverine by Jason Aaron, Wolverine Goes to Hell, uh, which is basically Jason Aaron Volume 2, and then Wolverine and the X-Men by Jason Aaron. Wolverine, Japan's Most Wanted, uh, Sabretooth, Death of Wolverine, and Hunt for Wolverine. And this is the first of the stuff that I was saying. People are going to be like, what is that? This is a, a custom-made, oversized, four-volume X-Factor omnibus set uh, of Peter David's run. Uh, this is something I found online. I don't know anything about the hows and, and where and whatnot, but I saw it and I loved that run, so I knew that I had to have it. Um, so I spent a little bit on that, but I think it's worth it because it is a beautiful set. These are beautiful books. Um, X-Force Omnibus Volume 1, and then Deadpool and X-Force and Cable and X-Force, which are basically Volumes 2 and 3. Ecstatics, X-Force, uh, these two, and then these two are both all four of these basically make up the uh, Craig Kyle and Chris Yost run. Uh, that goes into Uncanny X-Force, which goes straight into Uncanny Avengers, which leads into Axis. And then from oops, from here starts the main X-Men line. Uh, I don't have volume one of the Silver Age stuff. I'm hoping that it will get reprinted at some point, but I do have the volume one or volume two, which I think is vastly superior as far as content goes. Um if anything, at least get the stuff that Neil Adams worked on, because that's probably where the X-Men first becomes really, really good, in my opinion. And then all of the stuff from Claremont's run that's out so far, one, two, and three, uh, four has been solicited, so we'll have that eventually towards the end of the year, and then volume five should fill in the gap before Mutant Massacre. X-Men Classic, that's when they re-release the issues and they put... Uh, extra stories in the back of each issue so that collects all of those extra stories and then the events follow the mutants inferno prologue inferno i don't have the tie-ins to inferno though um x-men by claremont and lee volumes one and two days of future past extinction agenda bishop's crossing executioner's song shattershot fatal attractions cyclops and phoenix uh the wedding of cyclops and phoenix Fa uh, phalanx covenant legion quest age of apocalypse and the companion uh, Onslaught, Operation Zero Tolerance, The Twelve, Revolution, Eve, and Eve of Destruction. And then going down to the final shelf of my X-Men collection, there's going to be a few more of those that people are going to notice um, over here. But New X-Men by Morrison and Astonishing X-Men, followed by three of those custom-bound, oversized Omnis. These were all also found online. Um, this one has the entire Claremont uh, New Age X-Men series. This follows... Uh, Chuck Austin, and then leads into when Brubaker takes over. A two-volume set of Mike Carey's X-Men Legacy run. This is one of my top 10 favorite X-Men runs of all time. Uh, this collects everything from when he started writing X-Men before the um, Messiah Complex, and then it ends with uh, right before, or when he left before, uh, a little while before Avengers vs. X-Men. Got Endangered Species, Messiah Complex, X Infernus, Infernus, uh, Age of X, and then the Complete Collection, or sorry, the Omnibus, another custom one of Matt Fraction. It says Volume 1, but I don't know if the people who made these, um, I guess, never released a Volume 2, because I haven't been able to find one. It wasn't sold. Uh, I, I couldn't find one on eBay. I couldn't find one on, on anywhere on Facebook. So I just have the material that would have been there is basically this stuff would have been volume two. And that leads right into this other one, custom Kieran Gillen book. And that collects everything up to the material in the age of X or sorry, Avengers versus X-Men companion. So it's just because this has the end of fraction. So basically you can tell something would have been here, but it never I don't know. It never got made. They never released it, but I haven't, I haven't found it. If I find one, I'd gladly buy that instead because I think it'd look pretty nice. Anyway, moving on. Then I've got uh, the Marvel Now X-Men stuff, all new X-Men, Uncanny X-Men, 
uh, and Legion, and then Inhumans versus X-Men, and then the last book here, which is kind of hidden in the shadows, is the House of X, Powers of X uh, hardcover. So that is everything of my Western collection. Go back over real quick. My Marvel, or my X-Men books. That's all my Marvel stuff. All of my stuff from Boom, Image, Dynamite, Dark Horse, all up over here. And all of my DC books over here. So that's it. Thank you so much uh, again for the patience people showed. Um, I don't have AC on up here, so I'm sorry if I'm sweating. Uh, the patience people showed. I know a lot of people wanted to see me do this video a little bit sooner, and it took a little while, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it was worth it. I'm hoping that everyone enjoyed taking this look at my library. If there's anything um, that anyone wants me to highlight, anything anyone wants me to talk about uh, in particular, let me know in comments. Um, any runs that you want reviews of, any books that you want... Um, just to see a little bit more of, I'd, I'd be happy to talk about it. Um, I do have plans for a bunch of videos right now, um, regarding, you know, looking at various books, um, in particular, not just, you know, library tours and haul videos. So be on the lookout for that stuff. But again, thank you so much for the patience with this video. I, I hope that it was worth, uh, the wait for anyone that was waiting on this, uh, for anyone new to my channel that's seeing this, I hope you enjoyed this and would consider, uh, subscribing to my channel and watching some of my other videos. If you like this, please go ahead and like it. If you didn't like it, you can dislike it. Uh, but I hope that you did. I hope that you don't feel like you need to dislike it. And leave a comment, uh, anything that you want to share, anything you want uh, to comment, uh, anything you'd like me to do in a future video, please go ahead. Um, I really appreciate everyone uh, coming and watching the video. I know it's a pretty long one, but I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check this out. I know that right now in the world... Uh, you know, it's the end of March of 2020, so anyone who's watching this after publication, um, it, it's a weird place in the world right now, and uh, we don't really know what's going on as far as comic releases and the, the, the collected editions in particular. So there's a lot of stuff that's kind of on hold. Um, but in the meantime, I know a lot of us, uh, myself, the guys from the my uh, the Omnibus Collector Network that I do Omnibros with, uh, and other channels we're we're trying to keep churning out content um regardless of different books that you know we love and we'd like to you know kind of push for people to pick up during this time when we don't know if we're going to get new stuff anytime soon and it's you know we're, we're fortunate in that if that's the biggest thing that we're concerned about then we're pretty lucky um because there's a lot worse that we can be having happen to us than just being unsure about when our comics that we wish were coming out were going to be released so um we have to you know really pay attention to how privileged we are in that but um i hope that everyone's staying safe and staying healthy and i hope that everyone is um doing what they can to kind of help the people around them in this situation and i hope that everyone is staying sane and this is why i'm putting out these videos is to help people have some normalcy uh have content to watch on youtube um, you know, do, do what you normally would do. Just don't go outside and, you know, be smart and stuff, you know? Um, so yeah, again, thank you so much. Uh, hope everyone's doing well and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.